Hello, what is up, you lovely bunch of fucks, and uh, welcome <laughs> to something special. Um, I've recently rediscovered a video, um, not just any video, as you can see, it's about how to lose 15 pounds in seven days with a peel a pound soup. Um, this is a soup that supposedly uh, holds negative calories, uh, as in, like, it takes more calories to digest the soup than it does... Uh, then you get out of it, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but the comment section, as you might be able to tell from the title, is something very special. Very special. <laughs> uh, let's watch the video first, okay? This short video, usually I don't do re reaction stuff because, um, well, yeah, it's not really my style, and I don't know if it's legal. <laughs> But uh, this, I, I just had to stream this. I just had to. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us here at T. Roy Cooks. I appreciate it. I got oh, a yeah, so this, uh, T. Roy Cooks recipe this for a cabbage here. soup from my grandmother probably 30 plus years ago. And if memory serves, she got this recipe from a heart hospital in Baton Rouge that would give it to heart patients. That <laughs> Okay, later you'll realize how funny it is. The fact that a hospital recommended this. <laughs> Okay, okay. Surgery. <laughs> and if they were a little too obese to have the surgery when they came in, they would put them on this restrictive diet and have them eat this soup along with a bunch of fruit and stuff to help mm. them lose weight. Okay, fair. So okay. this is an excellent soup. I mean, it really, really does taste good. And the key to this soup, though, is you can eat as much of it as you want because it takes more energy for your body to burn the calories that are in this soup than calories that the soup gives you. So yeah, you're yeah, actually burning calories by eating this soup. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> really simple to make, easy to throw together, and again, it tastes wonderful, folks. Let me show you what goes in this. All right, everybody, this is the bashful ingredients here. Let me show you the recipe. This is an old recipe. Yo, it's it originally called cool. Kill a Pound Soup, and it's a seven-day restrictive diet. This first paragraph, that's the ingredients for the soup and tells you how to make it. It's very simple. I'll put that in the description box for you. Um, you're gonna need some onion soup mix, okay? One packet. You're gonna need six to seven beef bouillon cubes, or I guess you could use beef stock if you want, doesn't matter. You're gonna need, if you use the cubes though, beef bouillon cubes, you're gonna need about three cups of water. You're gonna need celery, you're gonna need onion, you're gonna need garlic. It calls for either stewed, to, uh, stewed tomatoes or whole peeled tomatoes. I'm using the whole peeled tomatoes, one can. This looks pretty sick. Of cabbage, simple, it? you're gonna need some bell peppers. I'm using both red and green, doesn't matter. All right, folks, let's start putting all this together. Again, this is my whole peeled tomatoes. Oh, why is he using his hands? No, the there are things for that, you know. Once you have those busted up, go ahead and throw in your own soup mix. Okay, at least he washed his hands afterwards. Fair enough. Give that a nice stir. This is the bouillon cubes and water. I'll put uh, three cups of water in there. All right. Go ahead and go in with all your veggies. There's most of them. There's onions, and chopped up garlic. Going in with the cabbage. That's so much cabbage, holy you fuck. You see that coarse chop. And this is, you're gonna need a pretty large pot to start off with, but this yeah, no is gonna cook down, folks. This pot is already you in Put it all in your pot. Let it cook down a little bit, and then we add the rest of this after that cooks down just a little bit. Oh, fat. Right, everybody, it's been about 15 minutes. This is coming up to a boil. Tasty, I'm actually. turn it down to simmer. And again, I did stir it up, and as you can see, the cabbage just wilted down real nicely. You want to stir this up every once in a while, and again, put the lid on it, simmer it, just until the veggies are done to your liking, as tender okay. as you like them. All right, folks, let's check this out. And it uh, cooked down to, to my liking here. It's uh, probably been an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Doesn't that look that, gorgeous? That's been cooking for it's two hours? Terrific. What? If you notice, I did not add any salt or pepper. In my opinion, it does not need salt or pepper. Okay. Let's give this a taste. Pepsi All right, everybody, a bit of pepper. got me a nice spoonful here. Still piping hot. Mmm. Tell you what, this is a fabulous soup, folks. I really do hope you give it a try. And again, the more you eat, the more weight you're gonna lose. Okay. So y'all give it a shot. Appreciate y'all watching. Now give me a thumbs up if you like the video. 
And if you're not a sub, please go ahead and sub. And as always, I hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. I'll <laughs> see y'all next time, everybody. Cheers. Okay. I want to make this soup <laughs> really bad now, but this soup makes you shit horrendously. <laughs> um, if I can believe the comment section, I did read a, a bit of it uh, beforehand. Um, this soup supposedly gives you um, explosive diarrhea, <laughs> which is absolutely uh, ridiculous. Oh, Hayden, Hayden, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I didn't see your comment there. Welcome. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> um, let's go into the comments section now. Okay. <clears throat> First comment. <laughs> Very great start. Your body is burning more calories than the soup gives you. Yeah, and I've also burned a hole in my bed sheets. Thank you. <laughs> I've seen comments of people, like, begging for, like, the sweet relief of death <laughs> after eating this soup. <laughs> I ate this for lunch before boarding a flight from Newark to LA last week. I'm now on national do not fly list. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, what the fuck happened to my face there? Holy shit. Wait, let me... Um... <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. There we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a smile of a man who knows exactly what he's done. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder if this dude actually had the shits from this soup. But let's see if I can find the, um, the comment I was looking for. Yeah, this is probably one of the greatest comment sections I've ever had the privilege of reading. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I've liked it, as you can see. Um, <laughs> I've lost more weight in salt water from tears. I've cried. Uh, I've cried from laughing so damn hard at the comments. Okay, I, I expect a completely different turn. Ah, oh, hell, I'm glad I stumbled here. Yeah, I really want to make this soup. I want to know if it's really that bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Oh man, this is a long one. This has to be good. Wait. I was actually on this diet when I was about to get mugged. When I tripped and fell over, the pressure built in me was enough to give SpaceX engineers a run for their money. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Luckily, I landed in the next town over to a barrel of hay that caught my fall with but a few scratches. Unfortunately for my uh, pursuant, all that was left of him <laughs> were his clothes. Uh, which singed to the sidewalk. Crime scene ruled incineration, but couldn't determine the lingering smell in the area. <laughs> Holy fuck. The comment section is just so genius. Um, wait, okay, let's see. Um, oh, okay, okay, this is a legit review. Okay, a review. This soup is tasty. I have always loved vegetable soup, so I knew I would love this. I'd recommend adding some extra spices. Fair enough. It, it looked a bit bland. Um, I weighed about 137 pounds before, but after seven days of having this soup for lunch every day, the skill hit 126. I'm embarrassed to say that the rumors of stomach problems are true, but still a tasty soup. Would highly recommend. Okay, okay, good soup, good soup. Wait, let me drink some water. Mm. Um, <laughs> can confirm, I have been on this diet for years, and now my weight is in the negatives. I phase into the sixth dimension. Please help. Yeah. My dad also made a fucking great comment. <laughs> I showed him this, and it was like, yeah, no shit, people <laughs> lost weight after uh, having that much, like, fucking explosive diarrhea. They just shit away all their fat. I yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. This is a great comment as well. Very clear as to what it does. Love making this soup. Very tasty. The cons, explosive concus concusive farts. Pros, I have a DIY jacuzzi with every bath I take. No! No! Why? Oh, God. Fuck. 
No, that's no. Fuck that shit. Peso Gucci. Hello, hello, welcome. You've come at a great time. What the fuck is this video? Is it something on space or something about fucking soup? <laughs> it's a soup which holds negative calories. So it takes more calories um, to digest it than it gives you when you burn it. Uh, when you, like, yeah. Um, and basically the comment section is playing about the fucking <laughs> explosive diarrhea. Um... Here's a, a wholesome comment. M uh, memes aside, I actually made this soup. I lost a few pounds. This unironically helped. Thank you, Troy Cooks, you legend. I really want to make this soup just to see if I can lose some fat. Not that it's 100% necessary, but like, I just, I'm curious. Uh, and I want to know if the, the fucking, the rumors are true, man. The fucking, um, explosive diarrhea rumors. Um,. What? I was able to find a printed copy of this recipe and it comes with legal separation papers from married folks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this oh this is the comment I read. Oh uh, uh, I'll read it in a bit. Don't read it right now. Uh, I'll have a great story to tell. I actually also read the comment sections uh, at school, uh, like during uh, like a break, um, and my crush was sitting right next to me. She was reading it with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed so hard at this. She laughed a bit at, uh, at it as well. But I definitely did not show her my most um, uh, mature side that day. But there was one other girl at the, uh, at the table who was just not having it. Who was just fucking straight faced and like, ew, that's disgusting. And I'm like, come on, how can you not laugh at this comment? I know for a fact God heard me from the bath bathroom all the way in heaven. I just pissed out of my ass. Thanks. How can you fucking not laugh at that? That is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. You ain't going to lose fat from this. You're going to lose 15 pounds of shit stuck inside of you. <laughs> yes, exactly, potato. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I can feel my IBS acting up just from watching this video. It's a whole head of cabbage, two onions, and a massive amount of fiber. Of course, you will literally shit half your body weight out in one go. It looks absolutely amazing, but I don't want to die from dehydration by diarrhea. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, the comment above it. Holy shit. My father ate this for two years. All that's left is his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Uh, I I I love this comment section. It's but what is IBS though? Let me look it up. Mm. IBS. Wait. Uh, IBS. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Oh damn! Okay. Ah uh, wow! I am in the military and just had. Surgery after staying home has kind of been so frustrating for me uh, just sitting on one spot and can't do things for myself. So just reading all these comments made me laugh so hard. My mum was surprised to see uh, and hear me laugh so hard. So thank you all uh, so much for the comments. Best comment section ever. What a chad. L this dude. <laughs> like. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Went home after he had surgery because of the military, right? Right. He had seen some bad shit, but then he saw the comments of people who had even worse shits. <laughs> no, like, this dude read comments about people shitting themselves because he was home uh, because of the military. Like, that is as a fucking story and a half. Um, my in-laws are coming for the weekend. I'll eat this soup for a couple of days before. I'll fart them out of the apartment. No, th you should give them the soup. Then th you'll make them want to leave as quickly as possible. That's clever. Uh, I haven't even made the soup and I'm already farting. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait. Um... I missed some comments of you, potatoes. Okay, uh, I feel like if I tried this, my ass would turn into a shotgun. <laughs> nice. Irritable bowel syndrome. Okay, okay, yeah. The people on my 600 pound life should try this. 
Yo. And they should record the sound. I'm just, I'm curious. I'm really curious. I am going to make this soup one day. I don't know if I can do it on stream. Uh, no, because then I'll have to show myself on stream, which I'm... I'm not planning on doing a face reveal anytime soon. Sorry. Um, and I also can't record the <laughs> the results because obviously, yeah, uh, not Twitch approved. Um, ah, okay. Is, um, is this? Whoa! What the fuck? This one was a lot bigger than I was expecting. Uh, Oh, this is a story and a half. Oh my goodness. Okay, so still being held against my will. Wait, let me put on my cool voice. So, still being held against my will with this quarantine BS, I decided a couple weeks ago to give this a try. The 13th, precisely. I'm not a fan of, of onions or green bell peppers, so I cut the amount of onions in half, used only red peppers, added three whole carrots, and doubled the celery because I do like celery. I wasn't sure of how much sodium the soup mix and bouillon cubes would add, so I planned to only use five cubes instead of seven. When I finished finished cooking up the first batch, I decided to split the entire deal into two batches, one using beef cubes and the other using chicken bouillon cubes. So I planned on using three of each. It smelled absolutely wonderful, and I couldn't wait to dig in. Two bowls later, two bowls later, and I was as content as could be with my belly full and feeling good about eating healthy. An hour later, I began... <laughs> to feel rumblings and thought to myself well here comes the gas everyone's stalking and everyone talks about and prepared myself for the events to evolve, evolve, unfold after the first mild pang of the gas pain I shifted over and let out a nice little burst, nothing too noteworthy just a quick little two second blapper but this was followed by a huge pang of the gas pain so I leaned over a bit more and proceeded to get loose, uh, loose a torrent of liquid shit that immediately soaked through my boxes and shorts as well as the, as the couch cushion I was sitting on. Oh my! I struggled to my feet to head into the bathroom to begin damage control when another pang of gas pain hit, just as strong as before. I tried to waddle a bit quicker while clenching my butt cheeks together as hard as I could, but only made it to the doorway before another torrent of liquid shit came gushing out. At least this one wasn't as dark and smelly as the first onslaught. <laughs> After finally making it to the actual toilet bowl and peeling off my sh shit trash short and boxes, <laughs> I proceeded to spend the next 30 minutes dumping every ounce of liquid my body had in it into the commode, which finally ended after my asshole was literally dry heaving on the last go <laughs> <laughs> if I had a hump like a camel, I most likely would have ended up looking like a shriveled up leather pouch. Nothing but loud machine gun like rapid fire farts that under any st circumstance I would be proud of followed un uh, until my innately finally in its finally settled down. After disposing of my massacred clothing, cleaning up the mess in the bathroom doorway, and setting the couch cushion on fire and tossing it in the backyard, I drank two liters, uh, two glasses of water, fill, filled up a third and put it on my nightstand before collapsing on my bed, completely exhausted. I managed to let loose a few more claps of fart thunder before I drifted off to sleep, wondering if I had something seriously wrong with my intestines to cause such a reaction. I continued to fart while I was sleeping because when I woke up, my bedroom smelled like 
a row of porta potties at 3 p.m. on a 120 degree day, and some of the paint had begun to flake off of the walls closest to my bed. <laughs> I went into the kitchen to dispose of the rest of the drainer I had created the day before. I dumped it off the back porch, and now there's a huge brown spot on my lawn. And it looks like some sort of beanstalk is growing out of it. Holy shit. I have to take a screenshot of this. I have to. This is this is a masterpiece. Wait, let me... Um, I took a screenshot, didn't I? Wait, let me do it one more time. See if I can send it in Discord, perhaps. Um, so, there you go. There in Discord. There's a screenshot. Okay. Let me, let me chat real quick. <laughs> Sounds like you're reading me a bedtime story from 1855. What the fuck is this? I can't. Shadow here, wishing everyone a happy Halloween. Be sure to enjoy your day and chat. Uh, show them some love. Thank you, uh, Shadow Weaver, for showing up. And uh, happy Halloween to you, too. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It is something special it is definitely something special um it ha wow um yeah all right let me extend chat a bit um there you go okay now you can actually see it properly uh face boy hello hello you just missed something amazing <laughs> you missed this entire story above here like right here um i highly recommend watching this in like the the vod later it's around like 18 minutes this is a story and a half but uh we'll move on for now uh <laughs> this soup is responsible for the chernobyl meltdown oh yeah maybe i should explain um facebook <laughs> I want to play Minecraft. Uh, sorry, not right now. I'm uh, <laughs> streaming the comments section of this. And later I've planned on uh, doing Sea of Thieves with uh, some friends. Um, but uh, maybe another time. Sounds like fun. But uh, t to give you uh, some more uh, context, this is a video of someone who made soup. This nice dude, this absolute Chad making soup. Uh, it's a recipe from a hospital, and apparently it gives you explosive diarrhea than the likes of which God and Earth will never ever see again. <laughs> uh, wait, where were we? Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, as someone who lives near a power plant, this video is dangerously accessible. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um... My mom has been making this for as long as I can remember, and every time this happened, I'd see my dad absolutely curb stomp and tackle us out of the way to the bathroom. I always figured he was just an asshole, but nope. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wait, this one has 167 answers to it. What the fuck? I just realized it's in Dutch. I'm sorry you guys can't read it. Oh my, that's embarrassing. I thought it was in uh, in English, sorry. It says 83 answers, and like one year ago. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Um, I did not heed the warnings of the comment section. After day one of eating this soup, I was woken up in the middle of the night by a fart that sounded like Donald Duck ripping a phone book in half in a fit of rage. <laughs> it made my cat jump off my bed and go downstairs to sleep low. I can't blame her. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, what, what? I've already seen this one before. Okay, okay. I know about the soup. It's like making a deal with the devil. Since you've lost weight, uh, you will look good, but for, what, <laughs> but for what price? I lost all my friends. Every time I went to bed, I woke up somewhere else. So I chose to live with the whales, drifting away, hurting nobody, as I learned to speak their language. All of a sudden, they were swimming around me, creating a light that, that pulsates until this day into my chest. I think I'm a whale god now. Oh, God. Um... He looks like a guy I saw on the news. Get arrested for child endangerment. <laughs> Pro pr 
probably more likely for like terrorist like attempts. <laughs> Jesus. Um, after making this soup for quite some time, and I've made some changes to the recipe that I would like to share with you all. Uh, here's some change I made. Instead of using canned tomatoes, okay. Uh, wear some goggles or chop the onions under the stove with a fan on to prevent. Okay, this is something wholesome. You can read it if you want. Um, I'm not going to read this because I'm here for the good soup. Good soup. Uh, Trash Taste Podcast has been has been making me go to the weirdest and funniest places ever, and I love it. Oh, is that where I, I got this from? I thought it, uh, Game Grumps uh, was the one was like, yo, check this out. No, it was uh, Trash Taste. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, now I remember. Yeah, no, uh, I did not find this on my own. It was like Trash Taste Podcast uh, recommended, and I just recently rediscovered it. Um, yeah. Um... Oh, I thought all kidding aside, I was like, okay, it's going to be boring comment. Then, but then I read the last sentence and I figured, okay, that is, wow. Um, all kidding aside, I tried this soup after quarantine to shed a few of my new found pounds. It's not bad, like he says. It really does feel like I'm burning more calories eating the soup than it contains. So much so that I seem to be creating energy. Things around me are levitating, like the planets around the sun. The neighborhood children giggles, uh, giggle with glee as I float them around me. Their parents were terrified, but they couldn't enter the force field I created. Now we finally, we peacefully are floating to the sky. With my army of electrified children, I will bring down the heavens. You will all bow before me and join my army, or join in the wails of the grieving parents. I don't recommend this soup during the coronavirus because there is a natural sh a national shortage shortage on toilet paper, and that is also an essential part of this diet. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so clever! Holy fuck! <laughs> uh, new idea: instead of releasing everything inside of your body into the toilet and making your bathroom smell like you committed mass murders inside of it, then dump liquid fart into it. Don't eat this soup. I will eat this soup. I will make it and I will eat it. And I will uh, post a, a full like report and review on my Instagram. I, we have an Instagram, uh, an official one. Uh, I haven't done anything with it though. So um, yeah, there's nothing to see on it now. It doesn't even have like a, a, a an icon, but I will do something on it. And I will post reports of when I eat the soup. <laughs> Good soup. Oh, this is one. This one was actually hearted by the, the thing, um, and by the creator. I'm so tired. I laughed until I cried on these comments. At one point, I thought I would not catch my br breath. Uh, wow, you all really made my day. I think I lost fifteen pounds just laughing at the comments. I don't think I can go on. I go ahead and make the soup no more, but just come back every day for fifteen to twenty minutes. Um, uh, so after reading some of the comments, my wife says, try it. How bad can it be? Right. Now she won't come home until I have an exorcism. <laughs> Jeez. Let's look for one of those long ones again. Uh, that's, is there, yes. Oh no, that's just, I laughed till I cried. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, nothing particularly long. Um, now I know what I'm making for the next potluck at church. Oh, please do. <laughs> now I tried this soup and now I start a natural gas company from, from all my gas. Damn. I think that one long one was the longest one out there. Oh, wait, no. Uh, so I made the soup. And just to let you know, I really like spicy food, so I added like half a bottle of Tabasco. <laughs> no! <laughs> and a bunch of chili pepper flakes. I actually really liked it. I ate three bottles of soup in a day because I it was pretty fucking good, not gonna lie. Although since midnight, I started busting out thermite farts that were glowing brighter than the sun and burning through my sheets. <laughs> 
batted even the fucking floor. Not that I live in an apartment, so that means that this thing dripped down to my neighbor's house, causing thousands of euros of damage. Oh, you're peeing, I respect that. Then I have to pay on, and on top of that, I got kicked out of my house company, a house, uh, cause apparently my ass has become a public hazard. <laughs> right now, I'm living in a specialized room, being studied by the world's best doctors and the American army, trying to understand how I'm shitting hot glowing lava like a minigun, burning anything I set my aim to. Their goal apparently is to use my ability to bring down democracy, oh, just to bring democracy to every last country on earth so this was actually given uh has actually given me a life purpose so thank you t-roy for sharing this recipe and god bless america trying to do good for the entire world <laughs> i'm gonna drink some more <laughs> Uh, who else looked up this video just to read the comments? Yeah, here. Um, <laughs> uh, I tried the soup and lost seven pounds and ruined three pairs of boxer briefs. Thanks, totally worth it. <laughs> dope, dope. Uh, I just made this. It's currently in the pot cooking right now. I use a large pot. My spoon stands up straight in it. Just had to watch again to make sure I did right, lol. Yeah, so hopefully you understand why I did this on Halloween. Because this is a soup that is worth fearing. It... <gasps> Yo! Next trick or treat, I'm gonna give the children this soup! I'm gonna give the kids the trick or treat here, have this soup, and then they'll... <laughs> they'll face the worst fears they'll ever experience. Uh, I've been making this for a while now, once a week, uh, and my poop has never been better. I have perfect bowel movements, praise the lord. You have perfect bowel movement from eating this soup. How bad was your like, constipation before this? How to lose 15 friends in 7 days with the worst farts in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> nice. Uh, if I'm making the soup today, if you don't hear back from me, assume I died in my sleep from gas inhalation. <sighs> this soup made me fart so loud, my French neighbor surrendered his guns to me. Wow, that is quite a comment, damn. <laughs> Eating it now and I can already feel the diarrhea. I feel like uh, uh, I just swallowed a ball and jacks along with a rabbit monkey to play with them inside of my intestines. Um, wow. Yes, okay. <gasps> yes! It's a long one again, guys! It's a long one again. Yes. Yes. Oh, let's read the ones above first, because these were... I uh, recommend taking this with some heavy painkillers for the Godzilla level turd that you'll pop out in two weeks. Bro, this soup will get me the Guinness World Record for the longest shit that measures higher than Mount Everest. Oh my god, the comments. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, guys, let's do it with the cool voice again. Okay, guys. I would never com comment about those kinds of things, but I am now uh, on day three, and I want to say some things. I am a beast, and I lost some weight two years ago, but I am still struggling to push it further. I lose and gain weight for a year. Beginning of December, I realized that I won't be able to control myself if I don't restrict my diet for at least five days out of seven, so I started this diet on Wednesday. I want to come back and write my progress down so that people can see some other things than hilarious fart jokes. I will cheat on Sunday and start... Oh, wait. Um, oh, that's actually a wholesome comment. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll, I'll finish reading it. Okay, so... Um, and uh, start fresh on Monday. This week is a bit over the place. I did not want to let this week pass uh, by without even trying. Okay, day one, soup with parmesan, fruits. Okay, I feel so hungry. The moment I finish the soup, I want to eat again. 
I lost 1.2 kilos. What the fuck? I know it's not fat only. Soup with Parmesan fruits. I made the mistake and thought uh, day two is fruits and veggies and potato constant hunger. And I have to pee like every 20 minutes. Wow, that does not seem healthy. I lost more than one kilo again. What the fuck? My body already looks different. My stomach goes a bit inside. I look leaner for an obese person. Okay, constant hunger. Chewing gum helps. Um, 1.1 kilo loss. Soup with parmesan, melon, green salad, cheat meal, tortellini, and a veggie patty. Uh, one weight kilo loss. What the fuck? This person's actually losing a lot of weight because of this. Good on them. My respect. Despite the cheat meal today, I will pick out a bit. Okay. Um... I, ga- I gained 1.5 uh, kilos, but it's okay. I was expecting it because of my eating on Sunday. Soup with Parmesan grilled pumpkin fruits. I feel hungry and a bit anxious because of the weight gain. It's probably because you lost so much water, yeah? And now you, you got it back. Oh. Um, no weight loss or gain. Soup with Parmesan, two small potatoes, colibri, green salad with gr- uh, grilled pepper and eggplant. Day, day three, 0. 0.3 kilos weight loss. My body changes a lot, even if the skill is a bit slow. Soup with parmesan, green salad, and grilled veggies, foods, okay. A day four, 0. 0.6 weight loss. I was afraid for a moment that I was stuck. Soup with parmesan, okay. I feel hungry and bloated at the same time. Is that a thing? I mean, I guess. Weight gain, 0. 0.7 kilos. I knew those stupid fucking... Stupid bananas would destroy my progress. If I do the cycle again next week, I would cut this day out, and would do day tw- uh, two twice. Um, I I think this is because your body is just its metabolism has gone so far down that it's like in a uh, a struggle for survival. It's like oh, finally nutrients. I need it. Um. Let's f- find the next, like, long one. Um, well, now I just read the comments and I'm dying. This seems a super natural laxative and is helping people poop the pounds off. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was not what I was looking for, but fair enough. Anyway, um... Oh, wow, it's really late. I have to stop now. Oh, shit. Um... Fuck. Uh, anyway, that's this for this uh, stream. I'll be back in a bit, and we'll stream. We'll be streaming Sea of Thieves. Goodbye.